It's an everyday thing when you let your nuts hang. I need to get a change. Been kicking it with the gang. It remains the same. So follow me now. Okay, what's up, everybody? I got some juicy. I got a juicy story for y'all. I got a juicy thing to read. Anyway, this is the letter Tupac wrote Sister Soldier while he was in jail regarding two women. Those two women are Keisha Morris, the one he married, the one he finally decided to marry, and Jada Pinkett. I'm going to go ahead and go ahead and start reading this right now. This is how he really felt about Jada Pinkett. Okay? Let's go. I can trust. Okay, he's talking to Sister Soldier right here. I can trust you. So, okay, there's that chapter where you were contemplating sharing this man with another woman. Also, I'm going to put a link in the description, description so y'all can read this whole letter yourself. I started down here. Let me start over. I can trust you. So, okay, there's that chapter where you were contemplating sharing this man with another woman. I'm in that position now. I love one woman, A, that's Keisha, because she's dependable, loving, supportive, and she's young and open to me guiding her through this crazy life. Who am I to God? Anyway, woman A is from the streets, and that's all she knows. But I can feel, but I can see and feel how much she loves me. Woman, woman B, on the other hand, is famous, rich, and able to assist me financially, loving, sensuous, and very sexual. She's known me since before I got into the business, and she's been there from the jump. However, she's bisexual, bisexual, bisexual. Jada hadn't came out about that yet. She come out about everything else. And so, so into her career that we don't have much time together. So I'm literally torn between an old friend who went from being of a platonic nature to a potential wife and a new friend who has been there through this whole gunshot, rape, near-death experience. No, he said potential wife. I have regret, I have rejected them both, but then reconsidered and got them both back. So he said he rejected them both, right? So Jada, according to Tupac, proposed to him they both propose to each other, but Jada's not mentioning the fact when she proposed to Tupac. Maybe it's in her book, I don't know. But anyway, Tupac said he rejected them both, but then reconsidered and got them both back. They each know of the other, and I have tried to make it work as a threesome. Not sexually, but commitment-wise. Had I not read your book, I would have continued lying and juggling with all of these other women, but between them both, I am completely satisfied. I've always felt that when I love someone, it is so intense that I drive them away, but with A and B, it evens everything out. I can satisfy both of, the, both of, the, both of them, and not because I'm a Superman lover, but because I truly love them both and the intensity and passion I feel for them keeps me driven to please them. Can you feel me? It's hard to explain on paper. Maybe when you visit me, I, could, I can elaborate, which brings me to my next step. Yes, I would love for you to come visit me. There isn't a list, but there are certain days and times for each inmate. I'll attempt to reach you by phone to make it happen. Now back to me controlling my sexual desires. Now be honest, as a woman, how could you love a man that couldn't properly satisfy you? Since men are born totally inept sexually, we only learn how to please a woman from pleasing a woman. So as 
rotten as it seems, practice makes perfect. Every woman I have been with has not only taken what I learned from the last woman, but taught me and prepared me for the next. And since I am not married, I have yet to find that perfect woman you described. I am forever in search of her. I have been with many married women, from wise or powerful drug lords, to the wise of broke everyday Joes, to the wise of quite a few very famous and rich singers, actors, and seeing their wives hungry for someone else has shown me that only by being able to completely satisfy a woman in every way, shape, and form can I truly find a happy and trusting, faithful relationship. Oh, man. <laughs> this letter is juicy, boy. The man said he'd been with wise or powerful r and this, this, this damn Pac was something else, man. This might be, he talking about, he talking about Bobby Brown. He talking about Whitney Houston right here. Wise or very famous and rich singers and actors. Bro, done hit Whitney Houston. God damn. He kept that shit on the low, low. Nigga done hit Whitney Houston. But anyway, <laughs> that damn Pac is something. This part wasn't no fucking joke, bro. Like, nigga hit drug lord. Nigga was fucking wise, bro. Y'all got to watch y'all. Y'all woman going to, bro. Y'all watch y'all wife, bro. Don't, well, you know what I'm saying? You you, you, you can't stop what a woman going to do. You can't. If she going to do it, she going to do it. You just got to live with it. You're not going to stop a woman if she want to cheat, bro. This nigga talking about wise, bro. But anyway, back to Jada, man. So you see right here, Tupac was very passionate about Jada, as Jada said. But Jada only want to make it make us think Tupac proposed to her when she proposed to Tupac also. So it, it seems that they both rejected each other and then had second thoughts about it. You know what I'm saying? When Tupac proposed to her, she was like, nah, Pop, we friends. Okay, and then she turned around, yeah, okay, thought about it, and then proposed to him, and he was like, nah, Jada, we friends, man. We can't do that. You know what I'm saying? So that's how that went. But, yeah, she bi Jada never came out and talked about her bisexuality, not that I know of. But she talked about it. She talked about it. She put all her... She put everything else out, you uh, know what I'm saying, about her husband business, you know. But she don't talk about uh, how she's bisexual, which I've been know. Anybody know that just by observing Jada. You don't know she was bisexual. But Tupac had a problem with that. Tupac, you know, he seemed like he had a problem with it. He said, however, she's bisexual. Which, which interpret, which I I interpret though he didn't really quite he wasn't he was he wasn't really quite feeling that as a wife. You know what I'm saying? Maybe as a girlfriend, maybe as a fling, he down with it. But as somebody that could be a potential wife, that ain't something he was really feeling, man. You know, woman B, on the other hand, is famous, rich, and able to assist me financially, loving, sensuous, and very sexual. She's known me since before I got into the business. However, she's bisexual. See, that's a negative. He talked about all the good things right here. Then he went to the negative. However, she's bisexual and so into her career that we don't have much time to <laughs> That means her focus is not totally on him. He wants a woman totally on him. You know what I'm saying? That's why he like, however, she's bisexual. You know? Tupac had a problem with that. Jada is wild. Jada was wild. Jada still is wild. You know? But they both was really considering marrying each other. And I think had Tupac lived a little lived you know they eventually would have had sex 
eventually probably would have got drunk one night together and just fucked. You know what I'm talking about? I think. But they had that deep friendship relationship that they felt like brother and sister. And I believe in reincarnations of spirits and maybe they were brother and sister in another life. Or brother and brother or sister and sister, who knows. But they seem to be kindred spirits related in some way. But that's deep, man. Peace out, peace out. That's all I have to say about this at this time.